friends, it's Sammy with Blue Feather Homestead. Welcome to my channel. Um, I have been binge watching uh, this gal named Lel, and she's um, her channel name is Made by Marley, and I will put a link to her channel in the description below. I've been binge watching. She's a furniture artist, and so I have just been dying to find a piece to practice on. So I've got this table here. I got it for two dollars at the thrift store, and as you can see, it's got some um, kind of blue and white and black maybe wavy stuff in it which I do like it but I am going to change it up there's some chips in it there's some chips in the um, the legs and things which you'll you'll see just here in just a minute I'm probably not going to be record recording myself talking too much during this video um, because I am totally winging this I've tried to learn from her watching her trip her tricks and techniques of how she does things one of the first things that I am going to do is um, I'm going to give this a really good scrub down with some hot water and Dawn dish, dish soap. Um, I had to tighten up the legs a little bit on here. I'll make sure that these are all really good and tight before I start painting, but first of all I'm going to go ahead and clean it. The legs on this table are black and the top has black, blue, and white in it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just paint the bottom of this black. That was one thing she said, when you get a piece of furniture, usually it comes upside down. You want to take pride in every bit of it. Give it all a good coat. So the bottom section is done, and this is what was on top, and I'm um, just going to paint over it. This is what I plan on putting on the top. This is a Dollar Tree sticker and I've had it for a very long time. These are all the blues I have to work with. I just can't really decide exactly which one I'm going to start with. This color here I fell in love with. I could not wait to use it. Um, I opened it up. It's a little bit lighter than I expected so I might have to add some black which I kind of <laughs> started that just to kind of test it out but I might add some black to it when I, when I paint that. But I'm going to have to put kind of a lighter coat in the middle to start with so I don't know, I'm going to have to figure it out. So I mixed some Waverly Ivory and Pool. Okay, I've got those mixed up. And so I'm just going to mix them up um, a little bit at a time and just at least kind of get this started in the middle. We're not going to worry about the spots that are missed because we're going to end up blending a whole bunch of other blues into this. So this is just the first coat. I said I wasn't going to do a whole lot of talking in this video and I've been talking so far. <laughs> this sticker came in two pieces. So we're just going to wing it. I'm not going to measure. But I am going to leave that on there while I Mod Podge and get it ready. So this isn't decoupage paper, um, it's not tissue, but I am going over it with this just because I want to get any bubbles out of there. I want it to be smooth. Okay, this is dried overnight and so now I'm kind of like trying to go into these white areas and I'm putting this paint in here um, with just an artist brush and I hope I'm not making a mistake here but this is kind of what I'm doing and it might look like a mess right now and hopefully it'll turn out good but so that's that's what I'm doing right now. Ok, 
Okay, so I've outlined most of all the white parts with the kind of the darker blue and different shades of blue. So now I am just kind of pouncing around the edge here. Kind of got a mixture of everything. And I'm just kind of, you know, bouncing my brush in it and pouncing it a little bit. Because like I said, I am totally winging this. I don't know exactly what I'm doing here. So um, I'm just trying to make it work. Just kind of been going around the edges here, trying to blend the dark, you know, into the light here. Um, I think it's coming together, but I, I do believe there's a lot more work to do. And I'm going to have to, you know, get, give it a stopping point right now and go ahead and let this dry and then I'll come back to it. So I've been touching up some feathers, like with the purple, I've been putting purple. With the blue, I've been putting the blue. I put some pink and purple around here. Uh, with my pouncer brush just kind of pouncing it a little bit the pink and the purple Around just to bring out some of the pink and purple on here. This is really turning out to be kind of a girly table I didn't really mean for it to be but um, so that's kind of what I've been doing I obviously I need practice, but I am having a blast absolute blast doing this. This is like therapy. I love it so I'm just gonna go around and kind of just keep outlining like the purple here I'm just kind of going lightly around some places here to make the flowers stand, stand out a little bit and then I'll do um, some pink around those too. Now I'm just pouncing the heck out of it, blending these colors out like this. I mean, you just have to really smash it down good and it will, um, it blends all your colors together. I'm having so much fun and I'm loving the way this is turning out. Okay, I think I'm just about done here. Um, if you have watched my videos, you know that I am like brand new to this painting gig and to especially never in my life have I ever like blended colors together. But I'm going to call this good. Now I just have to decide if I'm going to do glossy finish or a matte finish. It's all done and I have given it probably about three coats of semi-gloss um, sealer. I'm going to go ahead and put some, I think I'm going to put some triple gloss on here to kind of really bring out all the detail. And so I'm going to do that and then I'll bring you back.
So it's um, all dry. I put the triple gloss on there and I mean it is shiny as you can see. I love the way this turned out and you can see the purple haze all around it. Um, I did put some clear coat. I put semi gloss on there, Rust Oleum Clear Coat. I put, sprayed probably about four coats on there before I put the triple gloss on there. Um, so I'm going to spray it again with the um, spray clear sealant after this dries completely. But I think I'll just put one coat of the clear coat on there. So anyway, I just want to say thanks for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you maybe pick something up, some tips. Um, that might help you out if you are interested in doing this furniture art and this will go into my booth and um, you know I paid two dollars for the table I paid a dollar for the decal and then the paint costs whatever the you know and um, the sealant and stuff like that but you guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I just want to say thank you so much to Lel with Made by Marley um, for your detailed instructions um, your tutorials on your furniture art videos you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.